Many modern aircraft, including Epic Flight Academy Cessna 172 Skyhawks and Piper Seminoles, have trim systems that pilots use to alleviate any unwanted control pressures while flying. This allows the pilot to fly their aircraft with minimal control inputs and to conduct other tasks involved with flying. Epic Flight Academy Cessna 172 Skyhawks have two types of trim, ground adjustable rudder trim and elevator trim. The ground adjustable rudder trim is a fixed trim tab that is adjusted by Epic Flight Academy's maintenance department to help alleviate some of the turning tendencies experienced during flight. The ground adjustable rudder trim is an extension of aluminum sheet on the lower part of the rudder control surface. Maintenance personnel can bend the trim tab left or right to properly alleviate unwanted turning tendencies. Elevator trim is an adjustable trim system that allows the pilot to alleviate any unwanted elevator control pressures. Pilots adjust the trim by turning a trim wheel, located below the throttle knob, upward to lower the aircraft's nose, known as nose down trim, and downward to raise the aircraft's nose, known as nose up trim. When adjusting the trim wheel, the pilot is adjusting cables, pulleys, and push rods attached to the elevator trim tab located on the right side of the elevator. The trim tab moves opposite of the direction of the elevator control surface, meaning when the elevator is raised by applying back pressure to the control wheel, the elevator trim tab moves down. The opposite is true when applying forward pressure to the control wheel. The elevator will move down, but the trim tab will move up. Pilots must learn to trim their aircraft for multiple reasons. First, trimming prevents the pilot from fighting the aircraft to maintain a desired flight condition. Second, the pilot is not constantly having to adjust their control inputs allowing them to multitask while flying such as open and read navigation charts, run checklists, and other important tasks. Lastly, with time and practice, trimming an aircraft will make a pilot's flying smoother during all phases of flight. To properly trim an airplane, first, the pilot should put the aircraft in the desired flight attitude based on the proper sight picture and set the power accordingly to maintain the desired airspeed. Pilots can trim their aircraft to fly level, to climb, or to descend. To learn more about sight pictures and the fundamentals of flight, refer to Epic Flight Academy's videos on straight and level, turns, climbs, and descents. Note, when a pilot trims the aircraft, they are trimming for a specific airspeed. Any airspeed changes will require the pilot to re-trim the aircraft. With their left hand properly on the control wheel or yoke, the pilot moves their right hand down from the throttle to the trim wheel. Now, the pilot notes where the pressure is being felt most in their left hand on the control wheel. If the pressure is being felt in their fingers, this means the aircraft's nose will lower if the pilot were to let go of the control wheel. If the pressure is being felt in the palm of their hand, this means that the aircraft's nose will raise if the pilot were to let go of the control wheel. While maintaining the necessary control wheel input necessary to keep the desired sight picture and flight condition, the pilot adjusts the trim wheel by either adding nose up or nose down trim until the pressure is equal in their fingertips and the palm of their hand. The pilot can confirm that the right amount of trim has been added by letting go of the control wheel briefly to see what the aircraft does. If the aircraft remains in the desired flight condition, the pilot has properly trimmed the aircraft. Some helpful tips pilots should use when trimming an aircraft are Pilots should not fly their aircraft with trim. Instead, they should put the aircraft in the attitude they desire and adjust the trim accordingly. This is done by using sight pictures and power settings to achieve and maintain the desired flight condition, adjusting the trim until the control pressure is acceptable, and then confirming that the aircraft will remain in the desired flight condition when letting go of the control wheel. It is important to remember that when trimming an airplane, the pilot is trimming for a specific airspeed. If the aircraft is accelerated or decelerated, the pilot must make the proper trim adjustments. When trimming during steep turns, in Epic Flight Academy Cessna 172 Skyhawks, one to one and a half turns of trim will be necessary. When transitioning from the first and second turn, as well as when rolling out and flying straight and level after completing the steep turn, the pilot must either re-trim the aircraft or apply more forward elevator pressure to maintain altitude. In Epic Flight Academy Cessna 172 Skyhawks, three full turns of nose-up trims help pilots maintain the glide speed of 68 knots indicated airspeed when making or practicing emergency landings. This allows a pilot to run checklists and troubleshoot in emergency situations. 
If a pilot trimmed their aircraft to maintain the appropriate glide slope while approaching to land, or to maintain glide speed when practicing emergencies, they must retrim their aircraft immediately by trimming the nose down after a goal round to prevent the nose from excessively raising and possibly inducing a stall. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.